Biography of Wesley Snipes Subscribe to our channel and activate the bell before you watch the video. Wesley Trent Snipes, born July 31, 1962, is an American actor, film producer, and martial artist. Wesley Snipes is a popular actor who has conquered Hollywood. In filming, there are a huge number of projects that have brought unprecedented success. In addition, he worked as a director and even produced films. During his career, he has gained many fans all over the world. However, ironically, despite playing in films such as Blade, Art of War, Dance on Water, in which Wesley Snipes showed all his talent, he attracted the most attention of the audience only after the trial and arrest a successful actor was born in 1962, July 31st. It happened in Orlando. Parents had nothing to do with the creative field. My father worked as an aeronautical engineer and my mother was a teacher. There were also children in the family. In addition to Wesley, three daughters were also raised. After some time, the parents decided to divorce. The children stayed with their mother and moved to New York. The choice was in favor of the city because there were relatives living there who could take care of the children. Wesley Snipes grew up in a deprived area. To avoid trouble, he started attending sports clubs at a young age. He was engaged in karate and hapkido. In the last discipline, he managed to get a black belt. Among other things, he attended acting studios, developed his talent at school, which at that time featured actors such as Jennifer Aniston and Al Pacino. The family did not live long in New York. After a while, we moved to Orlando, so we had to give up studying at a prestigious school. However, Wesley Snipes began to perform on stage, in parks and squares. He even wrote the script, the actor had no doubt that success in the film industry was waiting for him. Even during his studies, he regularly participated in audits. It first happened in 1986. Wesley Snipe starred in Wildcats. Despite the fact that he won the main role, this film did not bring popularity to the actor. However, in his career, this experience has become quite noticeable. After several blockbuster roles in the career of Wesley Snipes, Breakthrough was long overdue. And it was not a full-fledged film or even a multi-part project that brought success, but the bad Michael Jackson clip. The famous Martin Scorsese was involved in the filming of this video. He was very impressed by the boy's talent, so he immediately offered to cooperate. As a result, the aspiring actress got the main role in the film, Better Life Blues. After the release of the film, Wesley started receiving invitations one after another. His filming was completed with projects such as, King of New York, and, Passenger 57. In 1992, together with Woody Harrelson, worked on the project White People Can't Jump. Both actors got the main roles. By the way, Woody and Wesley became best friends after filming. They appeared together in the movie Money Train, which only strengthened its popularity. In 1993, the actor starred in the movie Rising Sun with the famous Sean Connery. Then there was the picture Destroyer, where Wesley and Stallone appeared in the roles of the main characters. A few years later, the actor was invited to portray the thriller, Fan. And in the movie, One Night Date, he showed that he has the ability to act not only in action movies. But these films did not bring glory to the actor. Wesley felt real success in 1998 after the release of the film, Blade, in which he played the main character. A star with his name appeared on the Walk of Fame. After that, the continuation of the half-vampire story appeared. But they did not reach the popularity of the first part. For a long time, the media published information that in 2014 the filming of the new, Blade, will begin. 
However, the filming of this project has never started, according to the IRS report, Wesley has not paid about $15 million. During a long trial, he received three years in prison. However, the actor posted bail and was released. The lawyers tried to appeal the verdict, but to no avail. In 2010, Wesley Snipe ended up in prison. After three years of imprisonment and several months of house arrest, he was immediately invited to shoot by Sylvester Stallone. After some time, the fans, who were not reduced by the actor's problems with the law, were able to see their idol in the movie, The Expendables, 3. The most careful movie lovers could even hear a joke about tax evasion in this movie. In 2017, the films, Armed Response, and, Return, were released. Then news broke that Wesley Snipes had been invited to shoot the Mayan Tunnel Chronicles, Wesley Snipes does not like to talk about his personal life. It is known that he was married twice. His wife's name was April 1st. They met in 1985. After three years, she gave birth to a baby girl. But already in 1990, the couple announced their separation. Then there were brief romances with Halle Berry and Donna Wong. The second wife is the artist Park Nakiang. This family has three sons and one daughter, people who have achieved success in any field of activity are role models for others. And when you expand the scope of your work, you will be in the field of vision of even more people and you can influence them with your example. This happened to Yevgeny Arkhipov, an athlete and businessman talent, hard work and great charm made this singer to be among the classics of music during his lifetime. Much has been written and said about Placido Domingo's record and achievements, but he is in no rush to end his career. Childhood and youth among critics and connoisseurs of vocal art, there is a sign that nature favors the children of talented parents, many people start dreaming about their future career from a young age. Practice convincingly shows that such dreams rarely come true. Valentina Talazina decided to become an actress as a student at the Agricultural Institute. A restless child sings a popular song, a now forgotten performer, I was born in Siberia life on Mars, how recent discoveries bring us closer to moving to the red planet and how long it will take. On August 16, 2019, billionaire and eccentric inventor Elon Musk tweaked Nuke Mars. Let's nuke Mars. Mars, and what a person can do with it, has preoccupied humanity at least since Ray Bradbury's Martian stories. Wait For Me is a unique national television project. Searching for people with its help, thanks to the internet, is now beyond the screen and the Russian Federation. Many people find it convenient to use the Wait For Me program site. It is necessary, a computer with internet access, the personal data you are looking for, including photos.